Gabby Hanna is back with a heartfelt apology to all the ones she had wronged over the years, except it's a long list filled with accusations, misunderstandings, and betrayal. We'll see that what she did to her best friend went from internet drama to signing NDAs and court restrictions. So what's going on now with Gabby Hanna? I want to say sorry to anybody who, whether I've spoken out of turn, behind your back, shared information that wasn't mine to share, I'm sorry. Again, I got my lick back, and this was a big, big lesson for me in general um, about, yeah, speaking about somebody when they're not in the room in, in a negative way or in a way that uh, is overstepping personal boundaries, so. Is that apology for real? It seems as though Gabby Hanna is turning a new leaf, ready to put aside all her drama and endless scuffles, but it's easier said than done. I'm not trying to hate on anybody's redemption arc, but the controversies surrounding her in the past four years have brought nothing other than sheer pain to her close circle of friends and also to herself. Gabby Hanna is an American social media influencer, singer, songwriter, author, former Vine and YouTube star who gained popularity in the early 2010s with her comedic skits and relatable content on she later switched to YouTube and built a large audience with millions of followers. In her social media career, we've seen her identify as a poet and publish poetry books. Plus, she's into music, too. Gabby Hanna has had multiple public conflicts with other social media personalities, including her close friend Jesse Smiles, Trisha Paytas, Rachel Oates, and Oscar Wilde. Believe me, it's a long list. Several of Gabby's former friends have accused her of manipulative and toxic behavior, which has earned her a nasty reputation for being difficult to work with. And while many are willing to accept the fact that she is changing for good, though she wronged, like Trisha Paytas, see the move as merely papering over the cracks in an attempt to redefine her persona. Who do you currently hate on YouTube the most? Oh, um, easy. Who do I hate? Oh, <laughs> you're going to get me in trouble. Hannah, it's Hannah. Gabby Hannah, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this drama with you and Han uh, Gabby she's like, Hannah. She's like irrelevant. So I don't even want to talk about her because she gets like no views. Like, what's even the point? We're like the two like losers that have been on YouTube for so long just going at it and not getting views for drama. Trisha Paytas is another American YouTuber, singer, and social media personality known for her eccentric personality, candid videos, and controversial public persona. Trisha has been actively creating content that ranges from mukbangs and vlogs to more personal videos about mental health, relationships, and life experiences. But the feud between Trisha Paytas and Gabby Hanna is just crazy. Why do you guys like hate each other so much? I, I, the only reason I hate, well, the, I don't, the only reason I disliked her from the beginning was she like wanted to be my friend. I finally had to tell her, hey, you told my boyfriend I had herpes when I didn't. She told Jason I had herpes like before I really? knew her. And then he didn't want to like fuck me for a long time. And then he's like, oh, but Gabby said I was like, what? And then she said she told David and all these people. I was like, okay, she's weird. So I just kept my distance. Do you have her? You don't have herpes. I don't have herpes. And I would like, first of all, she wouldn't know. I never was her friend. Then she tried to play it on like Shane telling her that I had herpes, which that's not true. But she tried to blame him because she's crazy. And then she started snowballing on drama alert. She goes, I don't want drama on drama alert. Giving an interview about drama that happened nine months ago. And then she goes, then she says, Trisha tried to. He's like, did Trisha try to contact you? Yeah couple weeks ago this bitch is crazy i've never tried to contact her like she's actually crazy and i feel bad for her so honestly i don't want to even like hate on her because i think she does need some help because i went through a mental breakdown last year and i needed to get help and i think she does too and that's it but anyways I, i'll say i didn't like her this is about you so there you go you want the attention you think i only talk about you and everything's about you this is a story that happened years ago and i'm going to tell it now because this is my only issue with gabby hannah this is the only thing i've ever said to people i've said it to people about her when they bring her up and i said this is why i don't trust gabby hannah that's it this is it. This is it for me. Like I said, this is one thing I don't do. I don't lie on people's sexual health. Okay, so she told him. <sighs> okay. Trisha said they weren't even close. So why would Gabby do that? Trisha had repeatedly debunked claims of a false rumor and expressed anger at Gabby for spreading personal health information. This situation escalated into a public feud with Trisha calling Gabby out multiple times in videos, social media posts, and interviews. And their conflict grew over the years with both sides exchanging fire, calling each other out, and accusing one another of being toxic or manipulative. Trisha has been vocal about her dislike for Gabby, often criticizing her content, behavior, and handling of these serious controversies. And you can see why. But these weren't even half as bad as her fallout with Jesse Smiles. Gabby Hanna's fallout with Jesse Smiles is one of the most prominent controversies in the YouTube community, involving deep personal issues, serious accusations, and conflicting narratives. Jesse Smiles, whose real name is Jessica Vasquez, is a former Vine star and YouTuber who in 2013 accused her then-boyfriend Curtis Lepore, another Vine personality, of sexually assaulting her while she was unconscious. Lepore later pled guilty to felony assault charges, though the case was eventually settled in a 
plea deal. The fallout between Gabby and Jesse began when Jesse discovered that Gabby had allegedly maintained a friendship with Curtis, despite being fully aware of the assault accusations. Jesse felt deeply betrayed, as she expected Gabby, who was her close friend at the time, to distance herself from Curtis. And nobody with me because I was Jesse's friend and that was okay with me. I was okay being the person who had Jesse's back. Do you know how many people I've met over the years that have been wonderful to me? Get over yourself. And guess what? In the end, you weren't a good friend at all. You completely opened yourself up to a relationship with someone who hurt me like Curtis hurt me. Don't paint yourself as if you were a good friend. Everything you ever did and said during our friendship is null and void when you did what you did with Curtis Lepore. Stop painting yourself as if you had my back. You know what people who had my back did? Avoided him like the plague. Not because I asked them to, just because uh, that's what people do with rapists. After he apologized, he said, can I tell you my story? And I said, yes, I'll listen. Earlier you said that you asked him, and again, now you're going back to he asked you. What really happened, Gabby? If Curtis came to me with fucking hard facts that Jesse was lying in some way, I still wouldn't have fucking defended him. He told me that was fine. He would never expect that. He just wanted to be heard. Then I asked him if he was recording because I was paranoid because of some of the shit that Jesse was doing to me. And he told me no. He told me almost the exact same story that Jesse According to Jesse, Gabby not only continued interacting with Curtis, but also posed for photos with him at group events, which added to the hurt. Gabby has denied maintaining any friendship with Curtis and claimed that her interactions with him were coincidental and minimal. But this did little to ease tensions between the two. In 2019, the feud reignited when Jesse publicly accused Gabby of siding with Curtis, which prompted a heated exchange on Twitter and YouTube. Jesse released screenshots and text messages to support her claim, while Gabby repeatedly insisted that she never supported Curtis. Gabby's defensive stance fueled further backlash, as many believed she was downplaying the emotional impact her actions had on Jesse. In 2020, Jesse posted a detailed YouTube video titled Gabby Hanna Needs to Be Stopped, in which she shared her side of the story, providing a timeline of events and accusing Gabby of not only supporting Curtis, but also undermining her trauma. Jesse shared more receipts in the form of screenshots and detailed how Gabby had continued to bring up the situation over the years in a way that felt manipulative and hurtful. In the court of public opinion, if you're going to judge and condemn somebody, you should at least hear them out. Jesse was looking for any moment that she possibly could so that she could get emotional on the call because she was filming it and she always knew she was going to post it. I want a public apology that that should never have been made public. That's not going to happen. So I, I understand. Okay, so then we keep going. I'm not doing anything with you. Like, I'm not. Like, this is not, you well, say I we mean, keep going. I'm keep going then. I have publicly apologized for a situation that should have been private. So mm -hmm. I think that it's only fair that you can also extend that same courtesy to me, considering what I've been through. If we both sign NDAs, I'll do it, and we'll never speak about each other but on the Jesse, internet again. I also have to, if somebody brings this up in an interview. No. Gabby responded by issuing public apologies and addressing the situation in her own videos and podcasts. However, many were not buying it as they found her apologies insincere, since it appeared that Gabby continued to frame herself as the victim of an unfair narrative rather than fully acknowledging Jesse's hurt. In 2021, the feud resurfaced when Gabby released a series of videos rehashing her past conflicts, including her fallout with Jesse. This prompted Jesse to respond with more videos, accusing Gabby of perpetuating the situation and failing to show true remorse. Throughout the feud, public opinion has largely sided with Jesse. Gabby's repeated attempts to defend herself and revisit that the conflict have worsened her public image, leading many to view her as lacking empathy and understanding. The fallout has left a lasting impact on both influencers. The earliest one is titled Money, and it reads, if I had a dollar for every time a stranger saw me cry in public, I still couldn't buy happiness. And then it contains a doodle of some money. This to me is not a poem, it's just like a generic Tumblr post or a Tumblr joke with a few line breaks thrown in and nothing more. Even the illustrations here are a bit of a letdown because they're not exactly realistic notes, they're very cartoony, which means she could have done a hell of a lot with them. Rachel Oates criticized Gabby Hanna's poetry collections, Adultolescence and Dandelion, for being simplistic and lacking depth. Gabby was not one to take that kind of criticism lightly, and here is another person she likely owes an apology to. Direction. That's sick. It's sick, it's twisted. Just like all, all the words that she calls other people, cruel is really a really good uh, descriptor for this behavior. But to be honest, Gabby has been struggling with a ton of personal issues. She openly discussed her mental health struggles, particularly with ADHD and depression. Some critics have accused her of exploiting these issues for attention or using them to excuse her erratic behavior, especially during 
several manic episodes she posted online. Gabby has had several episodes where she posted alarming and erratic content, and many are concerned for her mental well-being. During some of these moments, she posted hundreds of TikToks in a short period. It's great to see her take steps to turn her life around, but many are not convinced she is for real. Shown uh, a negative light on, I definitely have felt the weight of that, and uh, God humbled me and taught me empathy in that area. So I'm genuinely wholeheartedly sorry for what I put you through. It was probably really, really difficult. It's great to see Gabby Hanna find God and find peace away from the prying eyes of the internet. That will help with her mental health and we hope it improves how she relates to others. She apologized to family and friends. I'm sorry to my family or just in general people at home. I also have to give the biggest, most, <sighs> like how could I ever find the words? I need to apologize to all of my fans, anybody who ever supported me for so many things. But whether she's truly sorry or just beginning another chapter in narcissism remains to be seen. For Gabby's sake, let's all hope for the best for her. And while you're at it, pray for her. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing videos. Stay tuned.